Hey, my name is Matt McLaughlin, and I'm here at Capital Strength and Conditioning. And I wanted to share with you about something that I find that most men over 30, the mistakes they're making that could really affect their health. Now, as we get older, a lot of things happen to our bodies that we don't really want. We lose energy, we lose the drive and motivation that we once had, our muscles start to decline, and our body fat mass starts to increase. All things that really we don't want to have happen. The good news is, is that we can change it. We can stop and reverse it. We can do things that will unlock performance that you didn't even know you had, take yourself to energy levels that you thought were behind you. And then we can also make it a fun and enjoyable process that makes sure that you stick with it over time because consistency and frequency are the key to results um, that everybody's looking for. Now, the three things that most men, the mistakes that they're making, are that they're not prioritizing their strength training, they're not getting enough high quality protein, and their nutrition is not aligned, and then three, they're not working and building the work capacity and conditioning level that will really give them the energy levels to sustain and have the endurance for a great lifestyle. Now, so to fix the first one, we want to evaluate and prioritize your strength training. That means getting into the gym at least twice a week, optimally three or four times a week, and doing big lifts that really stimulate your body to build or maintain muscle. Things like squats, deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, chin-ups, all the good big lifts that been, people have been using for hundred, over, over 100 years to get great results. Now, the second thing, as we get older, uh, one big reason why men lose muscle mass is because they lose the ability to process protein from their diet. So what that means is that we gotta get enough and we gotta get high quality. In. So things like uh, meats and uh, dairy products have the highest amino acid quality. And then the, really the easiest trick to get that protein in is just add one scoop of whey protein in the morning and then add one scoop of whey protein in the evening. The timing doesn't matter that much. What matters is that you get it in. Now lastly, we want to put some time into your cardio slash work capacity and just leading an active lifestyle. I recommend at least two up to maybe three or four times a week of 20 to 45 minute bouts of cardio. Um, if you have that, if you do something that's a little bit more high intensity like HIIT training, which is high intensity interval training, you can keep those time slots a little bit lower because it's a little bit more intense. With HIIT training, you take a, a certain time frame and do all out effort and you couple that with a recovery time period. So 20 seconds of max effort coupled with 10 seconds of recovery. That's called a Tabata, it's really challenging. You can mix up the time from 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, all the way up to maybe a minute on, minute off. What's most important is that you're really elevating your heart rate and taking yourself to a slightly uncomfortable zone and that makes the, tra the, tra uh, the training really effective to really increase your endurance. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. Please use those three things to transform your lifestyle and feel great, and I'll see you in the gym.